welcome to our next video. We'll be talking about equivalent taxable yield. There are different yields. There is a pre-tax yield and there is an after-tax yield. So, if you have, say, an, a pre-tax yield of, say, 6% and there is a marginal tax rate of 40%, what is the after-tax yield? That's important to know because the income, the income, interest income is of course taxable. So if you subtract the taxes from pre-tax income, you get the after-tax income. Say, what did I just say? Say 6%. 6% pre-tax multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 multiplied with 60% is 3.6. So a 60, a 6% pre-tax income return equal, is equal to 3.6 after-tax income return. That's the relationship between pre-tax income return and after-tax income return. Because interest rates or interest income, let's put it this way, interest income is tax deductible, we need to calculate it this way. And using this formula, Using this relationship between pre-tax and after-tax, we can look at it at bonds. We can ask the following question. Which, what is the equivalent taxable yield? What is the pre-tax yield that a bond has to offer to have the same return as the municipal yield? And the answer is this. And the answer is just provided by dividing by this bracket, 1 minus marginal tax rate, to put it on the left side of this equation, yields us this thing. So this formula, equivalent taxable yield, equal to the fraction of municipal yield divided by 1 minus marginal tax rate, is just deduced from this formula. Thank you for watching.